What I bring to this is a number of years experience in consumer journalism. I know how to go about framing these people and confronting them. And also, look at the size of me. And in terms of writing it, when you're co-authors, how do you, I know you wrote the female and, and you wrote the male Jimmy's, but how do you go about doing those chapter by chapter? What's the process? Well, it actually, now that we both live in London, it would have been easier. And um, for most of the time we're writing this, Jimmy lived in Liverpool and I was in London and then he moved to Manchester. So we kind of had this process going on where we'd meet up, we'd talk about everything that the book was going to be about, we'd plan the chapters, we'd do a really detailed chapter plan, and then we'd go away and write separate chapters, send them to each other, and then give each other feedback and take it from there. So all the planning was done together, but we went away and wrote separately. The, the hook for me of reading this is will they, won't they? Will Holly and Alex get together or not? How often since this book has been out have you two been asked that question about yourselves? All the time. And we, we didn't know this was going to happen when we wrote the book. Uh, it should have occurred to us, but that is the first question everybody asks. You know, have you ever? No. Are you? No. Will you ever? No. Sure. So, so have you? No. I believe you. Uh, <laughs> Laura Tate and Jimmy Rice, thank you very much. The book's called The Best Thing That Never Happened To Me, and it's super. Imagine if there was a place in Britain where you could exact revenge on these rip-off merchants. A town, just like the town where you live, only rigged with thousands of cameras. A town where the residents are experts in their field and where they can spot a scam quicker than it takes a tradesman to scratch his head, take a drag on his fag and go, <sighs> cost you. I'm Phil Williams, welcome to the headquarters of a band who sold 85 million records and played in 59 different countries around the world. The band are Iron Maiden, Let's go and meet their managing director. Dave Shack, next year will be 40 years of Iron Maiden. The Stones have been there, but not many other bands have. What's the secret to their longevity? 